That's one way to keep your windscreen cool. <laughs> Put fruit crates on top of your windscreen. <laughs> but you've got all this and then you've got this lovely little fountain here. I thought I was going to see loads of fountains here, but this is the only one apparently so far. There's a few, but not many. Yeah, definitely in a run down part of town now. In there. It's clean. <laughs> the water seems clean anyway. Yeah. Look at that for a classic van. <laughs> that won't pass an MOT in England, surely. Just crossing the road, but hey. Spider-Man. I had to I had to film Spider-Man, sorry Mazza, I couldn't just cross the road and miss Spider-Man. The roads, honestly, they don't like stopping, don't cars. It doesn't really seem to mean anything. It means nothing. <laughs> and whoop, and one of them beeps and then all five of them behind them beep. Beep, 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 beep. Italy is well known for being an expensive country. Napoli isn't, is it? No, we've felt, especially the local areas, like, like round here, like so here. Say, yeah. <laughs> um, everything's dirt cheap. You... I mean, I just bought a pair of shorts and a jama festi top because I need some clean ones. Three pound three euro fifty. <laughs> Absolute bargain. <laughs> and I'll just throw them away after when I leave here, so. I've found some very cheap things here. Especially these markety bits. Even the nice stuff in the shops, they were really cheap as well, aren't they? Yeah. They're all a euro on there, look, whatever they're selling. Yeah, Your one euro tops. for any it's top you want. So we have now walked back to Garibaldi station. Oh, is that where we went down this morning? Yep, this is never, where we... Never again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are you going to tell them the story now or not? No, look no. baby in the pram, look. Oh, oh bless. Fast to sleep. Oh, there's mum. Oh, that's heartbreaking, isn't it? Oh, yeah. What, tell them the story of me just this morning? <laughs> you don't have to, it's up to you. Oh, it's just traumatising. No, one no one's going to get it though, are they? They yeah, are, some people do have anxiety and panic attacks and things. Well, I ended up in a right mess under that underground today, didn't I? That was the worst or closest I've ever seen you to a panic attack. You were was, really bad. Yeah, I was really bad. I was... I, I couldn't do it. I can't do it again. Never. That's why we've had to walk back. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's why we've had to walk back today. <laughs> so. Yeah, we won't be going on the tube no, again. never. Uh, we're just trying to show us the restaurant here. That might be one to consider. One day, Mazzy, yeah. for eating. Sorry, I was trying to get into the shade. I've had so much sun today. Kebab shop, Turkish, Istanbul. So that's always going to be an option. Yeah, look at this cute one. Football shirts hanging up. That's a pizzeria. So we've plenty of we've plenty of options. <laughs> See it. We actually saw a nice um, chicken shop from where we were eating last, uh, drinking last night, didn't we? Did we? Just like a K, yeah, like a cheapy KFC, you know, like the, yeah, that was down there with a kebab shop. Chicken hut. Oh, yeah. With halal doner kebabs. Okay, so we've loads of options here and we're not too far, are we? No. This is within walking distance yeah, of his hotel. Yeah, we're only around the corner really now. This one looks nice. Film some grub. Atanasio. Oh, you didn't show him the pizza she was eating. <laughs> I can't amazing. zoom in on some woman's <laughs> pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and again, you've got soldiers, so you feel safe. <laughs> Did you see it as well? No, what? Did you notice the soldiers? What, yeah. They have like maroon berets on, like we do in, in Britain yeah and the uh, I don't know is it Navy Seals I don't know uh, but they had little pom-poms coming off them it was like a string and a pom-pom at the bottom <laughs> oh I didn't notice that it just stopped them looking hard they do have guns and they look handgun. I didn't see that I didn't yeah, see I that. Got that 
Uh, yeah. Oh, there's an Ind it says Indian there. Chicken hut. Kebabs. Mexican. All right, we're going to be sorted. This is our local little area now. Well, nearly. We're, yeah. we're over in that way, but yeah. this is where we stopped for a drink yesterday, and we're going to do that now. So we're not going to be taking the underground tube again. There is buses, but I don't think they go where we need to go for some reason. I need to look into it more because I don't know how we're going to get around. I don't it's really been want. A really hard day for me. I don't really want to try taxis because they can rip you off. It's only a mile up the road. But you said, or perhaps so you say it's a mile. I think it's further. Uh, it's a mile, it just takes you a long time getting down the street. You said something about somebody got had to pay 35 euro to do that. 38, mile. 38 lives the bird. Yeah. Right, where are we going? <laughs> so we can't get the tube again. Seriously, with that tube, we must have gone down five escalators to get down that to was it. Before that, though, we'd already gone down a load of levels. And then yeah, crazy. You like you're going to the middle yeah. of the earth. Yeah, and off camera, just between me and you, you know exactly how much I struggled with that. Well, it's so between them now. We're not going to, yeah, but I'm not really going to go into bad. detail. We yeah. are not getting on, on another tube. No. So, uh, taxis wait right outside here where we do like to stop for a drink at the end of the day. Um, and I've asked two taxi drivers now. Yeah. One said it's 15 euro, one said it's 10 euro. It's fine, it takes the stress off us. That's how much it costs us to get to Old Town in Bulgaria, so... Yeah, that's nothing. Please, but I but saw... We nearly split up today, I said, when we get out of here, that's... Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> that's our friendly, oh, lovely... Oh, he's so lovely. He, he can't really speak is English, lovely, but yeah. he's very, and very helpful. I highly helpful. recommend the pastries and cakes and stuff on here as well. This place is called Toraldo. Yeah. It's a lovely place. Okay, just talking to a lovely gentleman who's Italian and we can't... We can't understand each other. We've been trying to, trying to trace the go through a translator, <laughs> but he's shown me a picture of Diego Maradona having his hair cut. That's a real picture on his phone. Yeah, on his phone. Yeah. So I'm guessing he was in the barbers at the time. How cool is that? <laughs> okay, so this is your new PJs, three pound fifty, three euro fifty. Yeah. Hello. That'll Just do. Shorts and a t-shirt, three euro fifty. I've trust oh, me. Oh, here he is with a on a motorbike. Oh yeah. He yeah. keeps showing us all these pictures. <laughs> um, we can't understand a word he's saying. Napoli. Yeah. Napoli, yeah? yeah no. got the same shirt. Yeah. Same shirt on. Yeah, same shirt on. <laughs> yeah. He's only got one shirt and one hat. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy is basically undercutting taxes. He's like a driver. He's parked here. And I've just been telling his son, who can speak English, and he's in Manchester. He's actually in Manchester. I've been telling him, we're YouTubers, uh, let, let your dad know he's going to be on YouTube in a few days. So this is a thing over here which I've never heard of before. Coffee. When you get a coffee, this is iced coffee, they give you a glass of water. And the idea is, you drink the water to clean your mouth out so that you can really appreciate the coffee. It's palate, darling. Palate. <laughs> and it, that is an iced coffee, but he's eating it like a dessert. I like that. I bet that's strong, isn't it? It's going to be like an espresso under all that and give you probably, you're probably like buzzing all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm up for that. Oh, a proper coffee. Yeah, that'll send me do lally. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to have an espresso. But I am. Yeah. I'd like to come down for a coffee, uh, coffee in one of these cafes one day. That'd be nice. So we're going for something to eat. The day's ended, it's been a long day. It's like McDonald's stroke, KFC stroke, Korean. Indian, Indian, yeah. So I'm just going to show you all the dishes they have. They have, oh, thank you. They have an awful lot of curries here as well. Now, Dan's opted for this one at the back. They've got amazing dishes here, though. This is definitely a local place for local people. All the locals are eating here, which says a lot, doesn't it? It does say a lot. Yeah, this is their local restaurant. It doesn't yeah. mean it any good. I forgot to count what money we had, and we've literally only got 50 <laughs> euros left. So yeah. Hopefully it's enough. Because if we not, still need to go next door and get some, some water, toilet roll, and some water. 
can pick a drink because so we've got a water, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Grazie. How much is that? How much? Four, five, Wow. How much? 20 euro. Wow. Wow, that's cheap. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie. Wow, that's amazing. What? 20 quid? Three meals for 20 euro. That's, no, that's impossible. Have we just gotten all that for 20 quid? And a bottle of water. <laughs> in place for too long. No, we need to go in here for some water, more water, because I didn't have none last night. Dan just grabbed those for me. A lime flavour crisps. Oh, it's squeezy. I have to squeeze. I have to breathe in going down here. Now, I personally would like a little bit of chocolate. I'd like some spam. So we're in. No. <laughs> really? Yeah. Get two for me and whatever you need. They're not that cold, actually. Oh, aren't they? Uh, so that's really weird because there weren't actually no chocolate in here. Which makes a change from abroad. Yeah, the yeah. Other Tenerife or wherever we just came from. Right, so I think. Can, can we have a bag for those? Yeah. What in there? Yeah. Gracias. Right, let's get back and eat our meal. It's been a long, long day, and it. Say bye to everyone. Say ciao. See you in the morning. We will see you tomorrow <laughs> from here in Napoli, the most exciting city we've ever been in. We've both ever been in in his lives. And it's we've incredible. New, we've actually got an Uber organised for the morning. So. Hello and welcome. Good, beautiful morning from sunny Italy. Napoli. Naples. No, Napoli. Naples. Exactly the same spot we started off our walk yesterday, Port Albert. But we're not going down uh, Spacanapoli Street today. We're going to go for a coke. We've had a hectic hour. <laughs> Mazzy needed lady products, which aren't easy to find. No. <laughs> um, and then there was a security guard in the bank having a massive argument. I thought there was going to be a fight with, with the postman. The postman. <laughs> Because the postman's banging on the door to the bank trying to get in to give him to give him two letters and they wouldn't open it. So the guard, this guard outside started kicking off we with it. We had to wait half an hour to see even get to the hole in the wall. Yep, there were three <laughs> holes in the wall and two were out of order, so we waited half an hour oh, in a anyways, big queue. In one of those mornings. <laughs> on top of that I couldn't ring our Uber driver guy because it wouldn't accept text messages. Um it's obviously this data plan I've got over here. I can't do messages and I can't ring him because I can't speak Italian so what's the point? So, but we jumped into a taxi. Jumped in a taxi that says Port Alba, Dante area so he knows I'm, I think I know what I'm talking about if I say two places. I said 15 euros yeah? He says yeah. So yeah, we, we got it for the price we wanted it for. Right let's go for a coke. Right we're going to get a free tour by just clinging on to these lot. Just saying they must rent these out. This is your stalls. Pay so much to rent one out and throw all your junk on it basically. So here we go again. I can't tell you the name of this road we're going on. It's another long one like uh, Spacco, Spacco Napoli. I wanted to do Christmas Street. Yeah well Christmas Street is between this street and Spacco Napoli. So it must cut through then. Yeah, but which one it is, I can't remember, I'll be <laughs> honest. I'm not getting my Google Maps out today, I've done no research. Are they real on that tree, the can't be? That can't be real, if it is, that's the most beautiful tree in the world. No way. No, plastic. <laughs> I thought it looked amazing. So although this isn't as famous as the... I keep forgetting the name of it, Spaco... Well, I was going to say Flower Street, <laughs> so I'm no help to you. <laughs> what is it? Spaco Napoli. This one isn't as famous, but it's as long, I think, and uh, it looks as good from here. Well, to be fair, it's just on the other side, though, isn't it? Well, I don't know. It's a few blocks down. Mm. I'm saying blocks now as if I'm in America. <laughs> Lovely narrow street, it's only about 12 foot across. 
Diego. Bob Marley. Is that Paul Weller? Something you don't see much here is advertisements for music festivals or music nights. Mm. I haven't seen any of that stuff. Oh, there's a Maradona Spritz. Like you mean in bars and that for like yeah. evening and Yeah. yeah. Nothing like that. Full English. Full English. God, you can get them anywhere, can't you? <laughs> Yeah, they don't tend to have music festivals or who's, who's on. Oh, he's going to hit him. That was close. <laughs> Instead, they have signs on for which father is going to be at each church on what day. It's, well, it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Such a religious place. So we've got a very ancient looking bell tower here. You've actually got trees and branches and stuff growing on top of it. That's old. That's nice. Got a museum there, Lapis Museum. Museo. So much to. This place look. Oh yeah. Oh, the first, first water, water museum. museum. That's interesting. Water museum. How can that be interesting? <laughs> You'll be surprised what I'm interested in. <laughs> <laughs> This street looks beautiful. A rave. First one I've Oh, that, yeah, that is the first. I've seen loads of them now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if this might be Christmas Street, but there's Christmas lights. They're on. They're coming on soon. Yeah. It's going to get busier. I feel like we're here a little bit earlier than yesterday. I'm just going to keep the camera running all the way down here. It looks quite nice, doesn't it? We did stop for a little refreshment drink, the didn't we? Up there on the roof. Oh, wow, yeah. I'll have a sheet. I don't know. Look at these, this building here on the right. What's this place? See these buildings on the right here, look, darling. It's quite fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. It's still mad. I said to Dan, I bet at night down here it'd be crazy, wouldn't it? I bet you know, it looks so pretty. Oh, that's Christmas it's Street. Christmas it's Street. Street. It's got to be. Right, can we go down there? Peace. What's wrong? Oh, this guy is making fresh. I think we will, but not today. Yeah. So that's going to put us right off if we go down there. Okay. Oh gosh, he's loud. Selling fresh lemonade. I'm guessing that's part of the food tour. Oh yeah, yeah, there is a food tour here you can do here. Street food tour. Street food, yeah. So you go around trying all the recommended stuff that they recommend. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, inside. Do you want to have a look? It's up to you. Yeah, come on. Let's go have a look. I don't know, is it something to do with good luck? Or it's bad been, luck? It's definitely been robbed quite a bit. And two more going up there. Mm. I don't think I want to rob that. How can that be good luck? <laughs> <laughs> How can that be, like? Right, is it free? It will be. They don't charge for churches. No videoing, so we're not going in that. Why? It's just ridiculous, isn't it? But I just saw this. Look at that for a mural. I think it's Sophia Loren. I wouldn't know. So I do know there's a Sophia Loren mural. Who is that? Uh, I don't know. I think she's an actress. Is she? Or a fashion love, designer or both. I love her eyes. It's just so... She's from like 30s or something, I don't know. That's one of the first dogs I've seen since we got here. There's hardly any animals no, over here. There hardly is, but I have seen a, I've seen a couple. There's yeah. no wild animals, is there? Yeah, but you compare the streets here compared to 
England. Yeah. There's hardly any dogs. Yeah. Yeah, but they're all tourists. You can't put your dog in your suitcase, can you? Yeah, but they're not all tourists where our hotel is. Yeah, sure. So the further down we're going, it seems to be getting busier and busier. It's a oh, graffa. I it's a graffa, the big. Well, it's a graffa. Is it? Is How are we looking at these, Mazze? I don't know what's in them. Well, this is what I'm saying. Look, it could have been a cake yesterday. That booby on the wall. It could have been. Uh, a lot of their cakes are that shape. There's some down the bottom left as well. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be ready for a street food tour. Bet you anything. Yeah. Fish. <laughs> Another incredibly narrow street down there. And it's busy, isn't it? Yeah. So I think yeah. one day what we'll have to do is go down Christmas Street and up this one. Or we could do keep going up and down them because there's quite a few of them, isn't there? Yeah. I've also got something there I want to do, you just told me what it is. Well, think, I think that's where it, it looked like it, a, terror, a torture museum type thing. Yeah, I think that'd be interesting. Yeah, so I'm going to check that out, see if you can film in there, see reviews, things like that. So this is a nice little area, you've got some lovely statues. That's a nice big building, and then you've got a really old one here. God, that clock looks very old. It's like lead surround on it. So we've just ended up in a random church. Didn't look like anything from outside. So I'll just get you a few silent shots. a bit wow wasn't yeah. it so that was the San Lorenzo Maggiore wonderful church and you might have noticed there was like a glass bottom and yeah, underneath I see that yet, so. <laughs> there was like mosaic underneath whether it was Roman or what I don't know but it was very very nice I'd love to have gone down there yeah, so it looks like there is proper dungeons, like a different level down there. It says it's a guided tour, so that's something I'm guessing you'd have to do anyway. But yeah. Right, onwards and upwards. Is this that game we saw the guy doing the other day? We don't understand it. If someone knows anything about that, let us know, please. Yeah. And what are these also? Are these to measure yeah. your chilies? I don't know, it's to measure something. Got another Diego Maradona on here. Oh, both sides. Young lad getting his picture taken next to it. And then you've got <laughs> one brand new looking church here. It might not really be brand new. Though. It looks it though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Might have just had a pressure wash this year, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying to Mazzy, I reckon I can work out why the churches are so impressive inside. Because they're so <coughs> religious in Italy, we'll be giving a lot of money to church. 
the churches are probably very rich over here, so they can afford to have all this amazing stuff inside them. I'm saying to Dan, though, the people back in England used to many years ago, didn't they? But now that yeah, the churches yeah, yeah. are closing and charged to go in, I don't feel like people aren't using them as churches anymore. So religion is dead in in the United Kingdom. Well, well Christianity is anyway. Especially when they're turning churches into tourist traps where you have to pay to go in. And mosques. But not here. <laughs> you know, and that's the way it should be, yeah. This looks good, babe. Is this the doll shop? No. Oh, it's not? This is just like puppet shop. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, it might be. No, it's not. Wow, some incredible things there. <laughs> Oh. Can you imagine having that hanging up in your bedroom, Mazzy? How creepy is that joker? Wow, you know, this is proper authentic streets, this. I don't know if the camera's really showing it. You, you know, you can't zoom in on a GoPro to show the nitty gritty on the walls. And this is what you're having to watch out for constantly. Bloody nightmare. <laughs> Mazzy, I've always wanted one of these for my front door when we get an house. It's a Scrooge door knocker. I've always wanted a Scrooge door knocker. Can I please have a Scrooge door knocker? <laughs> well, just Napoli in general. Just come across a crossroads here. So that's a new other street. Yeah, that looks busy. Yeah. And we've seen a few proper shops, haven't we? Yeah, starting to see. Selling more. women's clothes and stuff with yeah. big sales on. And they all still look very cheap. cheap. Yeah, very cheap. I just saw a rail for two ninety nine in yeah. what looked like a posh, pretty posh shop. I weren't expecting that really in this sort of an area. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all in Italy. I thought it was going to be expensive. So, guys, if you want a cheap place to come in uh, Italy, come here. Yeah, I'm you don't mind this, it a bit rough and ready? Yeah, I'm guessing this will be a cheaper end of Italy though, won't it? Mm. Anywhere else. What's this? Oh, what is it? I don't know. A bit creepy. Very creepy. La Bottega. Oh, we've got a street performer. Fantastic. I'm guessing this is another church. Oh, he's good. Right here, Mazzy, I'll give you a euro. And then I can get a picture of him. This is what I like to do. As long as you give him some money. You give him some money. Hold that. You make sure you get a good shot of him. Oh, I ain't got a euro. Two euro, that's a lot for him. No, I'm not giving him two. I'm not giving him two euro, am I? Yeah, give it to him. No, it's, it's the price of a drink. Stop. 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 Oh. Stop. So save me two euro for later on. <laughs> They're getting narrower and narrower. These. It's about eight foot. And there's balconies over there. God, you could you could just step over into your neighbour's balcony yeah. across the road. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how far this road goes on for. I do feel we've been on it for quite a while now. Yeah, this is proper rough and ready. I can imagine Rocky Balboa's grandparents coming from a place like this. <laughs> well, it's still interesting and fascinating to see the way some other people live, isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. I just like looking at what clothes they've got hanging off things and what ornaments they've got on the balconies because I'm really nosy like that. It is, it's pretty special, is this? What I will have to say, I've been here two days now almost, I haven't seen or heard a single English person. I can afford that actually. We're no, the only I think English. I think you're right, yeah. See these slush puppies here, I think they're from real fruit, aren't they? Happy puppies. These streets with all this traffic, I'm telling you. It's going to be like India, give it another 20 years. They're just 
pipping and bibbing and then you get loads at the same time and they're almost crashing beep 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 they expect everyone to get out of the way but you can't go on pathway because there's things all over them there's no aggression with them though, is there it's just they communicate with their horn and yeah well don't it. it's rude we don't need that shut up it's impressive whatever it is I've never really understood this you know double-headed eagle type thing that used to be the sign for Germany back in the day uh, and Austria and seeing it here see it everywhere we go I'd like to know where it comes from what its original meaning is if somebody knows yeah I don't know where we're going now no. 